Hello and welcome to Three Daughter TV. I am your host Vishakha Thakur. Bank of England has decided to embrace blockchain technology for simplification of liquidity management network for wholesale payments and tokenized real-world assets. The step was taken this week as the use of blockchain tech continues to reverberate around and becoming more prevalent in the traditional finance realm. Financial firms Lloyds Banking Group, Banco Santander and UBS took part in the new payment system launched by blockchain payment startup Finality. While the Sterling Finality payment system, the live payments took place in a Finality held omnibus account within the BOE's real-time cross-settlement services. The UK Central Bank said in April 2021 that it would allow RDGS to interface with more payment systems such as ones that use distributed ledger technology. The launch comes after the Sterling Finality payment system was recognized by HM Treasury as a regulated payment system in August 2022, bringing it into the remit of the Bank of England and the UK's payment systems regulator. According to reports, Kenyan authorities and WorldCoin, the Iris biometric cryptocurrency project, have achieved an agreement that permits the initiative to restart operations in Kenya. Representatives of WorldCoin are allegedly working directly with regulators to meet Kenya's requirements. If all goes well, the WorldCoin is likely to resume Kenyan operations in early 2024. The claim that WorldCoin is set to resume distributing its WLD tokens to users who agree to have their eyeballs scanned comes just a few months after Kenyan authorities suspended such activities. Kenyan regulators were adamant that WorldCoin did not have the necessary license to carry out its activities in the East African country. Following the suspension, WorldCoin representatives visited Kenya, where they made an appearance before the country's legislative body. However, WorldCoin may have satisfied concerns initially raised by regulators. The report, however, did not reveal when the Kenyan parliament is expected to pass new data regulations which will guide entities like WorldCoin. OKX's non-fungible token trading platform surpassed Blur and OpenSea in daily trading volumes as NFT enthusiasts appear to continue trading Bitcoin ordinals NFTs. According to Daprada statistics, the OKX NFT marketplace had a 24-hour trading volume of $50.33 million, making it the largest NFT marketplace by daily trading volume. With a daily trading volume of $13.21 million, Blur ranked second ahead of Magic Eden with $7.63 million, Unisat with $3.82 million and OpenSea with $3.25 million. The expansion of OKX's platform coincides with an increase in NFT trading volume on the Bitcoin network, which according to CryptoSlam data increased from $121.28 million to $305.44 million in the week of December 10th to 17th. During the same week, Solana had $90.74 million in NFT trading activity, while Ethereum saw $93.45 million. That's all the story for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3.TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3worldtv.io or scan the QR code.